People like to talk about gabapentin and osteoarthritis. And once again, while we've been using gabapentin for decades, there's lack of data to support its use. So I rarely use gabapentin in my patients. In cats, there's one study that showed at 10 milligrams per kilogram for two weeks, it, once again, improvement in owner-identified impairments, decreased in activity levels, and a high degree of behavioral effects identified as sedation. So right there, you can see probably not a great alternative to an NSAID. In dogs, uh, it's hard to find any data for osteoarthritis and gabapentin, mainly anecdotal. I'm not really good at functioning on an anecdotal manner for my patients. Certainly there's some data for epilepsy and some data for neuropathic pain, but really no data for osteoarthritis.